this video will teach you how to find the distance an object travels using a speed time graph. What we have here is a graph and we have time in hours on the x-axis and speed in kilometers per hour on the y-axis. We're going to begin by looking at the origin and as time increases speed increases as well there's an increase in speed or velocity and we can say we have a positive acceleration. The area under a curve represents the distance an object travels. So if we look under our curve or our line, we see that there's a triangle shape. We're going to find the area of a triangle. And to do that, we're going to separate that into the equation base times height divided by two. Let's look at what the base is going to be. And that will be a measure of five hours, so we can put that into our formula. We're going to multiply that by a height of 10 kilometers per hour and divide everything there by 2. Okay, now we can cross out hours as hours divided by hours will cancel. And our equation can be simplified to the area equals 50 kilometers divided by 2 or the area equals 25 kilometers. So that tells us that the object moves 25 kilometers in the five hours. The second example has time in seconds on the x-axis and speed in meters per second on the y-axis. Beginning at the origin, we increase our time and we increase our speed, which there is a positive constant acceleration and then there's no change in speed, so therefore there's going to be no acceleration. Separate your graph into the two shapes you can see. The first is a triangle, and the second is a rectangle. I've identified them in different colors, so for the triangle, we're going to write our equation down as the area of the triangle in green equals base times height divided by two and the area of the rectangle equals the base multiplied by the height. Let's solve for the triangle first. The base is going to be three seconds multiplied by the height of six meters per second, all divided by two. Units and seconds will cancel and we can simplify that to 18 meters divided by 2, which will equal 9 meters. For the area of the rectangle, if we look at the base, we're starting at time equals 3 seconds, and we're increasing until time equals 8 seconds. So the base is going to be 8 seconds, subtract 3 seconds, a difference of 5, and the height is going to increase from 0 to six meters per second, and that's all going to be multiplied together. We can simplify it further to five seconds multiplied by six meters per second. Our units of seconds divided by seconds will cancel, and we can rewrite the area of the rectangle as 30 meters. Now in order to find the total area under your graph, what you're going to look at is adding the two sections or the two shapes together. So the total area will equal nine meters plus 30 meters, or the total area will equal 39 meters. And this tells us that the object moved 39 meters throughout the entire experiment.